It has very beautiful luster. It was actually a mint state coin, but I didn't handle it well. Didn't preserve. Uh, how to say? Stored it well. Therefore, it's getting fadier and fadier, and luster is going impairing. Nevertheless, I know that I won't be able to send it for grading from my country, as I said. In my country, we have some difficulties with getting international coinage or um, through post postal services. It is illegal in my country to get coins or money via via postal services therefore i have only i have to i would say suffice or make sufficient with all coins that we have but i see i must confess that it would be better if i would be more careful with handling these coins most of you will say that why you are using not using gloves during the live stream or while handling the coins unfortunately it's not uh, how to say cozy or comfortable using gloves during the live stream because i have to use mouse keyboard and uh, sensor pad of the phone when zoom for example i have to zoom in uh, with gloves, I won't be able to zoom in like this using sensor touchpad. Okay, as you can see, it is very lustrous and distraction-free in terms of contact marks, to be honest. Uh, distraction, we have some distractions, but contact marks, you see, is, are, are almost none. A mean state coin with a sharp strike very nice eye appeal except few carbon spots here large one largest one near the ear and around the ear and on the hair part also we have some some patination in god we trust on the high points and one large carbon spot here Below the date, freckle. Let's check back side. And when I don't store them for too long, they are getting fadier and fadier, and patinations increase due to contact with humidity and air. Copper coins don't like, are not friends with humidity or water so even when you have wet hands with perspiration oh, it's cold in english oh, i forget i forgot the exact word perspiration or what i think it's perspiration if i'm not mistaken when you get tired your hands get wet and you leave those stains and after gradually it turns into toning and reacts with uh, copper surface causing some oxidation over time if not preserved if not stored properly so backside is also sharp not that sharply struck it has some Die deterioration on um, you see the lower parts steps are not that clear. Overall, the eye appeal is good. It has some luster. It is uh, so 1982 was transitional year when they shifted to from copper or bronze to uh, copper plated zinc. So it has 
less uh, copper melt value as compared to previous cents pre-1982 and they shifted it due to uh, costs uh, rising costs of copper in the world market therefore they shifted to they used to have full for example not full but um, a significant amount per, significant percentage was copper pure copper even inside but now when you for example cut cut it you know, abrade it abrade it the zinc will be exposed the underlying zinc so mainly this coin is zinc only the upper how it's say covered cover, cover or covered it is a copper say for these are these cents uh, print after the post 1982 cents are more susceptible to change in facial part as far as I can tell okay let's check now the value market value according to price guides let's see check for DDR on one cent yeah I already did I already did a DDR you also sent one DDR okay I will check it later for sure let's see one moment 1983 first check let's check PCGS and then NGC or price guides oh we also have one bingo meaning there is one super valuable variety that is extremely valuable but when they meet certain criteria. but first let's check nominal value in different grades guiding guiding values okay so mintage was a massive, a 7.7 .7 billion. So as I mentioned, the actual composition changed. Therefore, one year after transition, the, the composition was copper-plated zinc. And weight, uh, it was less, I guess. Now this is... Now meaning after 1982. In 1983, it was 2.5 grams, but diameter was same 90 millimeters. So, excuse me. So, even in so today, even in circulated condition, according to NGC, even in circulated condition, like very fine, extremely fine, about uncirculated, up to about uncirculated. The value is five cents, so it's much more than its face value of one cent. So, therefore, due to copper melt value, it is today valued at five cents. So, its actual actual price no, value, you can check it for yourself on NGC price guide. And let's check out red specimens in mean state. Okay. So, starting from MS66, the population starts dropping. And guiding price for 66 is $15. In 67, $55. And 68 is almost... Four hundred dollars shows three hundred and seventy-five dollars. So check back side of it.
but there is one exception as i told you see this is 1983 so you know, let's say it is ms63 or so it's not that valuable and taking into consideration that i handled it improperly when i send it it may be graded as environment with clean details environmental damage cleaned uh, uncirculated details it may get from grading for example i just uh, before streaming i saw this coin let me show you the same with same patination let's change the camera you see see they suspect suspected of cleaning or so so human factor but this is a rare date to be honest this is 1931s so even in circulated conditions these have some patination maybe they also handled them this coin with uh, poor judgment and with carelessness therefore pc ngc created this coin didn't give numerical grade just except details except standing for extremely fine details so with environmental damage you see this is due to this dark stain or patination whatever you call it so meaning So this coin could be worth little more than maybe some dollars, one, two, three dollars, because of improper handling and preservation. But overall, it has nice eye appeal. But as I said, there is one condition when 1983 penny becomes super, super valuable, worth tens, sometimes tens of thousands of dollars. For instance, let's check out this coin. Let me duplicate it to be able to read to you information about it. One minute. One moment. Okay. So you see, it's even in. But this is D with Demand Mark. Nevertheless, the Demand Mark stands for Denver Mint. Ours show, showcased here is a philadelphia mint strike so why is this 1983 penny is so valuable what makes it so valuable even in such poor quality condition you see it's not even mint state it has just tiny bits of luster on selected areas like here here mostly protected areas on the edges you see here some bits of luster overall it is circulated you have massive numerous contact marks back marks contact marks and so on and just you see some luster also preserved here tiny red luster here inside here so why is this coin so valuable let's see so as I mentioned before, 1983, 1982 was a transitional year. So one year after, it should be just simple uh, copper-plated zinc. But as you can see, it's not zinc, as most uh, copper copper redness is gone. So, uh, it should show the underlying zinc, but it's not zinc. You see, it's just fady, fady coppery toning like you know copy uh, old copper copper coins this is because this is a transitional error coin this let's read this is a 1983 descent strung on a bronze planchet in error so this is a pre-1982 planchet and this 1982 die strike struck these pre-1982 bronze planchet by mistake it's a mint slip up but 
today it's exceptionally valuable coin believe it or not I have a lot of rare coin June Ledesma I have a lot of rare coins world coins very nice you can send your coin pictures but today we are mainly focusing on US coins and especially pennies but thanks for joining and please like the stream thank you so so even the if you have doubts that your you have your 1983d is a valuable and rare one it is not just simple copper plated zinc you also can make sure it you can check verify it by uh, weighing the coin for example uh, this error coin due to difference in where i read the pcgs data 1983 so it was actual weight of the coin i think it was two point something yeah two point the copper plated uh, copper plated zinc planchet zinc coins should weigh 2.50 grams you see now remember this 2.50 but this coin, this coin is circulated and poorly struck, I would say, and worn coin. You see this significant dye deterioration is also evident here. Steps are not all, almost no, not visible as compared to mine. Let's compare them as well. Let me zoom in mine is much more much uh, mine was struck by a much fresher dye in mint you see my steps are even visible but this is fully fully flat so so the weight this weight of these is 2.5 grams just copper plated zinc scent but this one, due to a improper, excuse me, I shifted it by mistake, due to improper, as it was struck on improper planchet, it is, one minute, okay, it, is, it weighs 3.10 grams, so you have to check the weight on scales. If, so if it is over 3 grams and you have a super valuable coin in your possession let's read the 1983d copper planchet scents are destined to remain quite rare as a change from old tenor copper planchets to the new 1975.5 percent zinc and 2.5 percent copper planchets occurred in october of 1982 at the denver mint At least two months before 1983 these cents were struck quality control was also very high at the Denver Mint in this time period undoubtedly leaving few such errors to be discerned to be discovered excuse me since in since in America had planchets primarily of copper since they first appeared in general circulation in 1793 save for a few exceptions detailed below meaning wartime pennies and so after 1989 years, inflation force changed. 1982 saw the end of copper as a primary metal used in sand, and the change was made to a zinc planchet with <coughs> where it was with. Z a zinc planchet with zinc copper plating to give the appearance of old style scent. This planchet blend continues in use today. So let's read now about this coin. Considerable satiny luster remains across both sides of this unique rarity, complemented by traces of mint red hallowing the design elements in selected in select regions, as we saw as we mentioned before some some tiny bits of luster magnified inspection reveals only trivial scattered marks throughout the fields i don't agree they have many 
contact marks. Nevertheless, the strong technical and aesthetic merits enhance the numismatic significance of this unprecedented error. Unprecedented error. So, this super valuable and super rare transitional error penny was sold for $17,625, believe it or not. If you think you have rare 1983 cent with D mint mark, this is just mine, mine is just Philadelphia issue with no mint mark. If you think yours is super valuable, just send your coin picture but before sending just wait on scale to make it to know for sure okay let's check out the other coins as well 